We're going to continue with the cylinder head cleaning up and getting it prepared for a check and we're going to clean up all the parts relating to the head. As normal we have to clean the bench up first. You can see a lot of stuff come out the bench. So we gotta just always give the workbench a little clean up. So as normal we'll get all the tools that we think we're going to need for this part of the repair. This is mainly just some cleaning stuff, abrasive pads. So now I'm just taking off some of the heavy materials so we can, so it don't really fill the, the cleaning pad with too much debris. actually doing here I'm just giving the cylinder head face a second polish because I want to see all the imperfection and I go and give it a third polish but it, we try our best not to cut the material we just polish him because we don't want it start to walk and it all may be already walk so we don't want it walk more but we need to get it clean as possible so we can take some measurements so now I'm going to just give it a third clean and I'm actually going with a higher grade abrasive so it won't cut so much it's going to give more polishing a more polishing finish <laughs> And we can see a lot of imperfection in it already. We can see where the water jacket start to eat out this place. So we're going to have to be very careful. We're going to have to check to see how much material is there. Along with the, with the ring in the cylinder head gasket. To make sure we have proper sealing here. And you can see a lot of corrosion and damage here in the material in the head itself and even these place you can see that they uneven but these are actually water jackets over the water jacket port so it's not so much important about this but the rest of the head we gotta have a perfectly flat surface Now I'm just cleaning up the areas where the manifold would bolt to the head. I need to get rid of all this corrosion and exhaust carbon so that when we put the new gasket it can seat and seal properly. And I'm just giving it, giving it a light clean because I don't want the metal to get uneven. I need it to still have a flat surface. So I can't cut one ear, so I got to keep the machine going nice and slow and smooth. <laughs> so I'm going to just use a higher grade, I'll forget it a little bit smoother.
this is just the first stage cleaned up there. Now we still got to check the head. Grind the valves. And if this need machine, then we need to machine it. But machine in the head is just a last, last, absolutely last resort. We call machine in the head, you know, you're changing compression ratio. And if we have to do the black, you're also changing deck height. And that's things were not really good for a standard engine. Okay, you know, you're trying to avoid. Detonation and detonation meaning the fuel mixture ignite in the engine before a spark occur the plug. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and recommend it to a friend. And if you're in the neighborhood, Feel free to stop by and have a conversation or if you just want to send us your question or comment, we will sure reply in our next video. Thanks again for watching.